Right, oh, tell you there, champs, and are you excited? I'm excited for the NVIDIA 3000 series laptops, but I'm going to show you what the performance is going to be like in a sec, and I'm going to compare these two to the desktop. So 30 series laptop GPUs compared to desktop. But um, where am I getting this 30% figure? People are saying, where are you getting this 30% performance figure? Well, I've got a press release. Now the NDA is lifted, so yeah. It's finished. I didn't sign anything. Anyway, here we go. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 providing an average of 30% performance enhancement. So, this is from MSI. That's their own internal testing, right? Now, if anything, that is going to be embellished. It's not going to be more than 30% performance. I presume that would be the biggest figure, 30%. And it'll probably be 2080 versus 3080. Also, if we have a look here, if you use Intel and NVIDIA, you get this technology called resizable bar and it can give you 5 to 10 percent performance so if you have an intel cpu and video gpu you can get up to 5 to 10 percent extra performance now i don't think that's going to be on top of this 30 percent i'm pretty sure that that's included in that 30 percent and as i said before that 30 percent i think will be best case i don't think it's going to be more i don't think it will be at 1080p i think it'll be higher resolutions and i think that's the biggest performance difference we're going to get probably 3080 versus 2080 so i haven't pulled this figure out of my clack uh that is like documented 30 percent that's what they're saying so i don't think it's going to be better as i said and only independent testing will verify this but it's not going to be more than 30 percent is it and it's not going to be at 1080p that's my thought so anyway the difference between the desktop and the laptops so on the left we have the desktops and we have the full specs there on the right we have the laptops but anyway let's just have a quick comparison okay if we go here to the desktops on the left take away the 3090 because there is no 3090 on a desktop but one thing i want to say about the 3090 before i take it away is look at that you know it's gd ddr6x and it's 384 bit so yeah there's a big difference compared to the you know the desktops which is just gd ddr g ddr6 it's not 6x and the widest memory bus there is 256 uh, that's nowhere near 384 and remember it's not gd ddr6x either that's a mouthful so i'll just take away that and we'll just concentrate on you know 3080 3070 3060 so you can see on the left with the desktops you can see the big difference in CUDA core count, okay? So a 3080 has 8,704 versus 6,144. Big difference, right? Big difference in power too, right? If we have a look at the power and have a look at the power on the desktops, you can see there that, you know, 320 watts, 220 watts, 200 watts, 170 watts versus, you know, the biggest is 150 watts, okay? 150 watt plus. But still, we're talking mostly, I think we'll have 60 to 80 watts. I think they'll use the lower end of what used to be, you know, max Q. They don't want to market it like that anymore and whatever. We know what it is, right? But I think most laptops will use the 80 to 90, somewhere around there. And I have noticed that on the laptops, we're getting 300 watt power supplies on, you know, laptops that used to be around 240 watts. So these things are going to suck juice. Don't worry about that. But if we just look at the desktop again, and you can see the CUDA core counts, I mean, the 3070 nearly has the same amount of CUDA cores as, the, you know, the 3080 desktop. We're talking 5,000, you know, virtually 5,900 versus 6,100. And then you've got different clock speeds as well. Another big thing is the memory, right? We've got GDDDR6X, as I mentioned before. Also, look at how many bits wide they are. It's good that the 3060s are the same at 192 bits there. So if I select that there, 192, 192, the 3060s are the same. But with the 3080, you only get 256 bit versus 320 bit on the desktop version here. So yeah, that is what it is. So you can imagine losing a lot of CUDA cores. It's not the same as the desktop anymore, which is what they used to be. A lot less power, which is normal for a laptop. But even the memory, you know, it's not 6x, it's just 6. But one thing I'm happy about is if we have a look at the encoders there, it doesn't matter even if you get a 3060 um, you're getting 7th generation encoder and 5th generation decoder. So that's the NVENC encoder. So that means for content creation, these laptops will be able to render pretty much as fast as a desktop in some situations where you're using the NVENC encoder because they're both the same, right? They're both same generation NVENC encoder. So hardware encoding should be around the same sort of speed. 
what is the big thing that's missing for me? So if I go to key technologies here, all right, so to compare them to 30 to 10 series, whatever. But anyway, I thought I'd share this with you. I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.